All right, let's go and open up the voice with music and sound. Go ahead and listen to this one. This is a sound recording. <laughs> this is a sound recording. <laughs> All right, and same files we worked with before. This one has music in it on purpose because, I mean, if you just had that cough at the end of a normal file and there was nothing else with it, you could simply just select it and hit delete on your keyboard and get rid of it. Um, but in this case, maybe there's a sound that's playing at the same time as that cough and we want to remove the cough. There's a way you can try to do that. And here is how. Um, we're gonna open up something called the spectral frequency display. It's right here below favorites. Click on that, it opens up. Click on it again, it will close back down. And so first thing you need to do is isolate the sound that you would like to remove. In this case, it's this cough. And you can see it right here. And there's a few different ways we could get rid of this. Um, first thing we'll probably want to do is select it. So you've got your I-beam selection tool, which is going to just basically select a piece of time. Um, you could use, if it were like a smaller file, like if you just wanted to remove something like this and it didn't take up the entire height, this cop does, but if you didn't, um, you could go ahead and take that and you could select it. Um, just to make this a bit easier, let's go ahead and zoom in on this spot. And you see it actually does move down a bit. So we could use that and try to select you know, a piece of it. I'm going to hit Control D and deselect. The next one's the lasso tool. That will allow you to freehand select it, and that way you don't have to get, you know, everything it can be pretty precise with that tool. I'm gonna deselect that. And then finally, you've got the paintbrush. So instead of doing that, you can actually just paint in the selection. And once you let go, it will go right ahead and make a selection based off of where you painted. And Let's go ahead and use the lasso tool in this case. So I'm going to take the lasso tool. I'm going to select the sound that I want to remove. And once I've got that selected, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to auto hill or else you can hit control U. That's going to look around the selection at things that existed before and after it. And it's going to try to remove what you have selected but leave those other things and try to patch it. So as you can see, it actually did a really good job. You can see where it removed the sound. It's a little bit of a hole here, but it actually left that music down underneath. So let's go ahead and listen to it and see what it sounds like. Recording. Just a tiny dip. Thing. If you have on headphones, you might be able to hear it. So pretty good job. The other way you can uh, go ahead and remove this sound, roll on my mouse again and zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to hit Control D and deselect. Um, this last method is basically the same thing. It's just one step quicker. Rather than having to right click and auto heal, you can use the spot healing brush. And just like the paint brush, you can paint over what it is you want it to heal. And once you have painted everything that you want, you can let go and it will auto heal automatically for you without the need for right clicking and doing that. You can see auto healed. Um, the bracket keys on your keyboard will actually make that brush bigger and smaller as well. But if there's parts you missed, you can just drag back over those and go ahead and take a listen to this. Pretty good job. So that's how you can remove sounds using the spectral frequency display.